This is my 2020 Intel based MacBook Pro running Windows 11 in high performance mode. Now, as you can see, it runs fantastic, and even the touch bar controls are fully functional. In this video, I will show you the brand new way to dual boot macOS and Windows 11 on any Mac in just a few minutes. Now, this step by step installation guide will help you to run Windows 11 natively on Intel based Macs. Now this guide is only for Intel Macs. If your Mac is powered by Apple Silicon, check out the video link in the description for more information. Now with that said, let's get started. Before installing Windows 11 alongside macOS on your Intel Mac using Bootcamp Assistant, there are a few things to note. Unlike Windows 10, Apple stopped supporting Windows 11 in Bootcamp Assistant. So when you try to use a Windows 11 ISO file into the Bootcamp Assistant, it will throw an error. This happens due to the Windows 11 hardware requirements. However, there's a trick. We first install Windows 10 using Bootcamp and then upgrade to Windows 11. Now that being said, for this demonstration, I will use my MacBook Pro 2020 running macOS Tahoe, which features a T2 security chip. To dual boot your Intel Mac with Windows 11, make sure your Mac has at least 100 GB of free space. Now let's start downloading the Windows 10 ISO file. Head over to the Microsoft website and download the Windows 10 x64 ISO file. After downloading the ISO file, store them somewhere on your computer for easy navigation. Before installing Windows 10, please connect your Mac to the power source. I'm also going to connect the USB dongle for wireless mouse and keyboard. Now go ahead and open the Bootcamp Assistant. Then import the Windows 10 ISO file into the Bootcamp Assistant. Then shrink the free space on your Mac for Windows installation. Now for this, I recommend allocating around 100 GB, but make sure it's not less than 70 GB. Then click Install. Enter your admin password and let Bootcamp download the required drivers. Ensure you have a stable and fast internet connection during this process. Now once the drivers are downloaded, your Mac will automatically boot into Windows 10 setup. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows 10. Select your language, time and keyboard layout, then click Next. If you have a product key, enter it. Otherwise, select I don't have a product key. Then choose Windows Edition you want to install. I recommend Windows 10 Professional. Then accept the terms and conditions and proceed. The installation will take some time, so sit back and be patient. Once Windows 10 is installed, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. After installing the Windows 10, the Bootcamp installer will appear. You can connect to Wi-Fi if needed, but for now, I keep it disabled. Then open Control Panel, search for UAC, and click on User Account Control Settings, and set Never Notify to avoid interruptions. 
Now close the Bootcamp installer. To reopen it, open the File Manager. Click on the OS Reserved Partition. Look for the Bootcamp folder and run the setup.exe. Now follow the on-screen instructions to install the Bootcamp drivers. This process may take some time. If your Mac gets stuck, force shut down by holding the Option plus Power button. Then restart the Mac into Windows 10 and rerun the Bootcamp installer to complete the driver installation. Once drivers are installed, your Mac will reboot automatically. Now you can connect to Wi-Fi. Installing bootcamp drivers resolves issues related to graphics, trackpad gestures, sound, display, and much more. For instance, on my MacBook Pro, the touch bar functions perfectly, allowing me to adjust the brightness, audio, and keyboard backlighting seamlessly. Next, open the Bootcamp control panel using the Quick Link. Here, you can manage your startup disk. If Windows is selected, your Mac will boot into Windows by default upon restart. Additionally, enable options like tap to click under the trackpad settings to simulate clicks without physically pressing down. Then click OK to save changes. And that's it, we are done with Windows 10. Before installing or upgrading to Windows 11, it's recommended to check for Windows updates. Open settings, Windows updates and look for any available updates. Once your Mac is up to date, use Apple Software Update to update the Bootcamp drivers to the latest version. Repeat this process until no more updates are available. Now it's time to upgrade to Windows 11. This is very important part. You might need to watch this part a couple of times to ensure everything work properly. So pay close attention for upgrading to Windows 11. Upgrading to Windows 11 requires bypassing hardware requirements such as Secure Boot and TPM 2.0 which are lacking in most Macs. Now this MacBook with Intel i7 10th generation supports Windows 11 but lacks a TPM chip, so we are going to bypass these requirements. It's time to create a bootable USB with Windows 11. I'm using my 16 gigs USB pen draw for this process. Now simply head over to the Microsoft website and click on the download link to get the latest Windows 11 x64 ISO file. While it's downloading in the background, head over to this website and download Rufus. Once both files are downloaded, place them anywhere for easy access. Then I'm going to connect my USB pen drive to Mac. Now open Rufus. Select your USB drive in Rufus and import the Windows 11 ISO file you downloaded. Then for the image option, stick to standard Windows installation. 
For the partition scheme, choose GPT and target system as UFI and click Start. Now, Rufus will show some extra options to customize the Windows installation. Now, please check the first two options that bypasses Windows 11 requirements. Also, you can take these options to disable data collection and draft encryption. Now, click OK to start creating bootable USB with Windows 11. This will take some time depending on your USB draft speed. Once it's done, close Rufus. Now open File Manager and locate the USB drive. You can run the setup file to upgrade to Windows 11. But for now, I will copy all the contents of the USB drive to the Documents folder. Then eject the USB drive from the Mac. I will also disconnect my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard from the Mac. Now run the setup.exe and follow the on screen instructions to upgrade to Windows 11. This process should take around 20 to 30 minutes, so please be patient. And voila, the Windows 11 has installed successfully. To enhance Windows 11 performance, it's recommended to adjust the power settings. To do so, open the control panel and search for power options. Then choose a power plan and create a new plan. Select high performance, name the profile and click next. Now this will allow the CPU to run at higher clock speeds, resulting in optimal performance. Now as you can see, the touch bar on my Mac is also functioning properly without any issues. Now to switch back to Mac OS, open the Bootcamp control panel in Windows and select Restart to Mac OS. You can also use boot menu to switch between Windows 11 and Mac OS. To do so, restart your Mac from either Windows 11 or Mac OS. Then press and hold the Option key until the boot menu appears. Now from here, you can select either Mac OS or Windows 11. Now choose Macintosh to boot into Mac OS or Windows to boot into Windows 11. As a bonus part of this video, if you decide to remove Windows 11 and use macOS exclusively, first boot back into macOS, open startup disk and set macOS as the default OS. Then open Bootcamp Assistant. Click Continue and select Restore to remove the Windows partition. Now this will restore the free space back to macOS. And that's it. This is how you properly set up a do boot with Windows 11 and macOS on any Intel Mac. Let me know what do you think in the comment section down below. 
If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.